guys, welcome back to my channel, Kids Gaming, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband Walkthrough. Alright, so as I uh, said, guys, I was going to save this siege for the next video so that we, you didn't miss out on it. It's also going to be a tough one, guys, because they have a lot of archers in there. Uh, mainly not the 19 sharpshooters, but that's going to be rough enough as is, but the... What is it? 84 crossbowmen. This could be very bad for us. We're being kind of greedy even wanting to try to take Durham because we already have, what, two capitals? It is already. And we're doing pretty good, guys. So <coughs> we're going to attempt it. We've got 141, my 136. And this 131 here, as well as a couple low number lords, but we do have, what, eight lords, I think, that decided to come and participate in the siege. So, with that being said, we're going to jump in here, and we're going to get it, get it started, guys. And, of course, it's going to be a tower. Of course it is. So, we're going to start building that. Luckily enough, our engineering is at a decent level. Unluckily enough... Our morale is still tanking, so we're going to lose a few men in waiting for this to be built. But that's okay. Hopefully we'll come out of it with good morale. Or our morale will be up and up, where we can do something about it. And we don't know what Swadia's reaction to this is going to be. What they're up to right now, I would imagine they're neck deep right now in Rodok battle. So, I don't expect them to come to Durham's aid at the time either. That was another one of my strategy approaches with this, guys, is I figured that they were a little busy right now and kind of vulnerable, so we would just go ahead and try to take Durham from them, seeing how this is the capital probably that gets sieged the most. You're just going to have to wait there, hun. Matter of fact, man, nah, nah, we'll accept it just because it, it's like 30 days, guys. You, you have like a, a generous grace period before. Okay, so we can start the assault. They are not going to get reinforced, so let's just do this. And of course, we're going to have to wait for this to get there, guys. So we're going to get our archers ah! and shooting, get our shield up. Going to go ahead and hop in this thing and just protect myself, most importantly, okay. And now we can kind of just command the troops real quick, so we're going to get the infantry to follow us, the cavalry to follow us, and we'll get the archers to just hold that this position, basically they'll just line up with this thing, and they'll kind of sit back as it kind of coasts forward. So let's get the archers going though. What are we looking at here for dispensing? They have 72. Our allies have 64. We only have a pit lead, five men in the battle at the moment, guys. So the first wave is going to be the allies taking it, <laughs> which may not be that, uh, may not work out that well for them, but uh, that's okay. Just gonna poke my head out here a little bit to see the progress of the, uh, the siege tower. Make sure that thing keeps moving. They will stop sometimes, guys. Like they will straight up just stop, and you just gotta kind of wait it out. I usually do like a seat. It looked like it almost stopped there. A little nudgy, nudgy from time to time. Keep that shield up. We're taking heavy losses, guys, and, and this was my great fear of trying to siege this capital was they had a lot of archers so it's going to be nice to run up the ramp and everything good news is is yes it's dropping now excellent so everybody's just going to go into charge mode now we want to actually get the archers to follow us because you know what in matter of fact we'll, we will we will have them fall back 10 paces here we go because we want the archers to stay down here and work on that wall while everybody else tries to rush in. It's really going to just help things a lot. It really is. Highly recommend you do that. These two guys have achieved superhero powers. Excellent. Good. Great. 
Okay. So I'm kind of scared to go up this ramp yet. Because I think they might be what you are still. And we have a plugged, a plugged entrance still. Can we get can we get in there? I don't know. You don't see it. Or you do. There. Okay. Maybe possibly we might be able to get a few of these off. Without, no, 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 you don't, no, 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 and you're a better, you're a better archer, oh, and you got out of the, no, stop it, okay, right, back, oh, no, don't fall off the thing, back to the shield, all right, second wave of reinforcements here, how many of our men are in now, we have 12 of our men, and, ooh, they are dispensing, guys, we broke, we broke the line, let's go, we broke the line, we can start taking out their, uh, they're archers, matter of fact, speaking of, let's get ours charging. And let's work on their archers here. We've got all them. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. Oh, those men are going to go down. I don't want to go down. Down, stupid. Don't go down. Don't go down. Don't never go down. Don't get trapped down there, guys. Like, your men are down there right now, right? Yeah, everything's warm and cozy. Everybody's taking their out and they get reinforced. The out and trapped with 10 men on you all at once so highly recommend you don't go down there unless you are a badass i am pretty badass i would have to say but like i said when you've got a bunch of guys hacking away at you are we really for real just destroying them that bad let's check it out 89 down 43 on the field, they're probably going to keep getting reinforced until they're just exhausted, guys. So, we seem to be pushing really well here. This is awesome. I didn't expect it to go this well. I really didn't. Like, I expected us to take away more. Ooh, I better shut up. Start swinging. I don't even think I can, so I'm just going to back up and keep now. But, yeah, how many uh, deaths are we taking, guys? One. Our allies, on the other hand, are taking it oh so hard up the top. Like 44 dead and 30 something wounded. It's very bad. I don't think I can get in there. Like, I am not like, I can't get in there. So. I can try, but I can't get in there. No matter how I try. I could get the archers to pull back and it would, it would unclog things a little bit, guys, but, uh, why bother when we're just we're pushing so well? So. All those shields. Oh. Alright, can we possibly? Oh god, get around the corner here. I mean, uh, we don't want to do anything too stupid. So, uh, let's try to let's get to those guys. got some heavy shields for these like footmen probably for infantry. Sense. That was like some work over there as well as per usual. Excellent. We just wiped right through all of them. Got some more archers coming up. They've got to have plenty left, I would assume. So, we just look at look at us. Look at us. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you guys just go. You guys just go right ahead. Get on in there. There's so many other. We're totally reinforced. What are we at here now? We have 12 on, they have 56, and they're taking some heavy, heavy losses, guys. They are. Our guys are being a little more smart about it, I guess. Super clogged. We're not going anywhere. There's really no way to prevent this from happening, guys. You can command each each section of your battalion if you like to say like hold their ground stand stand in one position follow you um, but it's still just going to get clogged because you have to have enough men to get down in there so. all right we're slowly making progress what are they uh, for the numbers they got reinforced again they've got 141 down 14 wounded so that's about a buck 60 and 40 on so 200 or down and in the battle, 
you still have another 300 or well, they got yeah, another 150 or so after that. So. Alright, we're taking it though. We're pushing. This is cool, kind of how it's moving. Yeah, see? It's cool how it's kind of working out though. Is it's almost like a level we're making progress on here. Let's try to get a couple of these archers that are aggravating our men. Okay, he's down. That's why it's good to have a crossbow as well, guys, as like a secondary or third weapon, because it can come in handy in, <clears throat> in situations like this, where you can help your men. Nope. Die, please. Need you to death. Are you dead? Okay. Ooh, that looked like it hurt a lot. No, no. Okay, he missed me. In his kneecap, I think I just got him. One more shot, me. Should be done. Excellent. We're uh, we're getting some good crossbow action in here. Don't don't move. No, don't move, guys. I. You gonna bounce back again? Are you gonna do it? Okay. He's still alive. Now. Ooh, hello. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, they're all honed in on me. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just gonna do it. Even this, even this, guys, helps your battle situation. All of these archers right now are focused on me. Let them be focused on me. That's fine with me. That means they're not shooting at my men. So that's good. We're gonna try to get a little risque here. And hit a few in between their shots. Okay. Ooh no. It's that it's that reload that's gonna get me, is what it is, and we don't wanna push our luck too much because we might have to attack the inside of this castle after this initial battle. Speaking of, I need to I need to just get away from these guys real quick. So I can check the scoreboard here. See how the uh, faction's faring here. Let's see. Oh goodness gracious. They are getting close. That, that may be their last reinforcement, guys. We only have four men left on our field, which which means two things. One, we really not have participated in this battle too much because we have so many allies that are actually doing the work for us. We're not taking as many losses, but you can see that we have 10 wounded and 11 dead. Ouchies. And it's those archers, guys, so doing what I was doing really is just helping them out greatly. So we're going to get back out there. We're going to start distracting the archers again. And also, we could also try this. I could try this. Let's see. They're not. They're, oh, some of them are focused. Oh, some of them are focused on me. I would like to kind of get the archers up here. It would be nice. And then if we could possibly get them to fire at will, that would be also cool. So now all of the new archers that spawn will just come up here. The ones that are still alive will try to make it as well. My shield, ow! Is taking, oh, we, we took a good hit on that one. We might want to back off some. They, they kind of have this corner on lockdown. So, we just want to be careful until reinforcements come, they're on their way. Especially if their footmen decided to come up here, we would be in kind of some big trouble. Good, good reinforcements are starting to make it now. Maybe we can offer some more distraction. There we go. We gotta remember there's archers up here too now, and we cannot take another hit. It's like another hit or two, and we might be in trouble, so. Kind of letting the, letting the archers do their thing on the wall here. There we go. We're going to get some more reinforcements on the archers. I think we're, we, I think we almost got them, guys. Let's check it. Oh, hell yes. All right. Now, was that everybody? 277 and 19. That's about 300, guys. So that might have just as well done it. Goodness gracious. Let's just check the whole, check the whole scroll. So we took 12 killed, 10 wounded. Ow kind of, but we should be able to use all of the prisoners that were in this prison to reinforce that, so that's cool. 
Our allies, on the other hand, pulled most of the weight there in that siege, which we really had, we had no way of governing. We really didn't. But they took a massive 132 killed, 97 wounded. Goodness, we're going to need some recovery time for that one. 296, 277 killed, 19 wounded. So it was kind of, oh, it was a, it was a two for, it was a two for one on the death ratio there. But, okay, so we're in the inside walls now. This is what I was worried about. <clears throat> so we have to be careful. Ooh, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. Because we only have half health. Just kind of, kind of let my men do some of the work. I, I thought there was like somebody, yeah, okay, there's somebody up here. No, no. No. Oh, goodness, right, right in your head. Yeah. You too, uh, please. Real quick, like, okay, and then we're gonna, yep, because I knew somebody was going to be, you're gonna, if you could just back up just a little, sir, so I could, so that I could p impale you. No. Uh, lower shield, please, thank you. Alright, is there anybody else up here? Let's pull our shield back up. Is, is there? Yes. Yes, there is. The answer is yes, there is. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody's hiding up, y'all. Because my man is coming up here. Unless he just trusts my ju- Oh, you're not my man. You're the enemy. Jesus Christ. What a goof I am. Well, I have a bastard sword, sir. And my weapon proficiency is 240, so not bad. All right, we made it through that. Now we just have to do the inner sanctum, the actual inside of the castle. Here we go. Goodness. Looks like a bunch of archers. Orchers right in front of us. That is very comforting, actually. Holy crap. I think they hit me with a couple arrows in the last second. It doesn't matter much. Me and Borsha, definitely. I think we are the only two of you definitely handle this room. Alright guys, so, holy shit balls, we, we actually did pull it off guys, we, we pulled it off. So we're gonna just recruit everybody, because we need them all. We actually didn't take a big a hit as I was expecting us personally to take as a faction. We took a pretty big hit there. All our lords are going to have to lick their wounds for a little while. I would imagine Swati and King, King Harless is not impressed with this action any bit at all. So he's probably going to want to retaliate, or at least I'm assuming he's going to want to. And we'll just have to see how it plays out. So I think, uh, Leslie, I will be keeping this for myself for the time being because we need to reinforce it still, sir. But thank you. Yes, my banner does fly above it. It's pretty. You know, you always, like, I like the Swadian faction. So, so Durham's always a candidacy once I take over my own faction, guys. But there it is. And we've got Iskuru and Amar, or Amir, as our two fifes. Oh, did we gain... No, okay. Yeah, because, oh, we gained Yillaby, too, and, and Berglund, guys. Those are all connected to Durham. So now, <clears throat> look at our faction. It's hard, to, it's hard to kind of stretch it all the way out there. Pretty much, that's pretty much it, though, besides what? Yeah, no, that's pretty much it, guys. So look at us. We are getting... We're getting nice and beefy in our own faction, in our own sense. We're starting to expand out a good bit, and I've taken on some new lords anyways that I need to give land to, and now we have, what, four more fiefs now that we can bestow on our vassals and kind of, at the same time, keep them happy and piss them off, because like I say, you give them to one and the other one gets mad, so that's just how that works. And that's probably why there's also a treason and indictment uh, mechanic to the game as well. So, so this siege took 
basically the entire episode because I think we're just going to leave it off here. We might as well, guys. We just sieged Durham. You know what's going to happen next. Matter of fact, do they have any men in here? They have zero. So we're going to have to work at reinforcing this and fighting off the Swati infection as they probably will want to try to take it back. And I'm also surprised no other factions have tried to declare war with us yet, but who knows what the near and future has in store for our faction, guys. So hope you guys are enjoying the series. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Feel free to leave comments and questions about the game in the description below. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so that you know when I upload a new episode. You'll be notified and you won't miss out. And as always, guys, until next time, We'll see you later.